Now let's see this problem. If rupees 510 be divided among ABC in such a way that A gets two third of what B gets and B gets one fourth of what C gets, uh, then their shares are respectively. Friends, it's very simple problem. We can do this problem even without paper work. Now the ratio of A and B is two is to three. Okay, now let's go by option. Uh, choose the option in which the ratio of A and B is 2 by 3. Let's see the first option. Here, B is double of A. That means it cannot be the correct choice. In option 2, the ratio of A and B is definitely 2 is to 3. It is 2 times 30 and it is 3 times 30. So, it's correct. It is correct. Now, see us. Uh, uh, just see. B gets one fourth of C. That means B is getting 90 and C is getting 360. So even it is correct. Now let's see whether their sum is 510 or not. Now 360 plus 90 is 420. Uh, sorry, 450. 450 plus 60 is 510. That means all the conditions are fulfilled. Hence it is the correct choice. Okay. So actually no paperwork is required. Now let's say this problem, rupees 366 are divided amongst A, B and C so that A may get one half as much as B and C together and B may get two third as much as A and C together than the share of A. Friends, very simple problem, A is getting half of B plus C, that means A is to B plus C is 1 is to 2, that means uh, of the entire portion that is the three part A is getting one part that means A is getting one third of 366 okay so it's 122 as simple as that no need to make big big equations just solve it like this you'll be get, getting the answer very quickly and easily okay let's do the next problem now Two whole numbers whose sum is 72 cannot be in the ratio. That means in this particular problem, we have to uh, find a, find the correct ratio whose sum is factor of 72. Okay. Now we have to see whether 72 can be distributed in the ratio 5 is to 7 or not. Now what is the sum of 5 and 7? That is 12. Okay. And 12 is factor of 72. That means 72 can definitely be uh, divided in the ratio 5 is to 7. So it cannot be the correct choice. Now 3 is to 5, it is 8. 8 is also factor of 72. That means uh, 72 can be distributed in the ratio 3 is to 5. So even it won't be the right choice. Now 3 is to 4, that is 7. And 7 is not the factor of 72. That means you cannot distribute 72 into 3 is to 4. Let's see how why it is not possible. I wish to distribute 72 into, into the ratio of 3 is to 4. And since the number are whole numbers, so 3 is to 4, that means 3 by 7 of 72. Now, we'll not be getting the integral value, integral value over here. That means 72 cannot be distributed in the ratio 3 is to 4. I hope you are clear.